So if you're using Microsoft Forms and you need to find out how to use the attachment field, you've come to the right place. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use that capability to attach a PDF or a Word file into your Microsoft Form, and importantly, where all those files are also stored, so you can get back to them later. And also, we're going to cover a common question that we have, which is, how do we stop the responder's name appearing on the attachment file? It's pretty common. And again, we're going to explain why that happens and a setting to turn that off as well. So enough of that. Let's dive into Microsoft Forms, check out that capability and get you up and working. So to get started, we need to ensure our Microsoft Form has been set to only people in my org or specific people in my org can respond. Microsoft won't allow us to use the upload button if it's been set to anyone can respond. And that's because potentially it could be used to upload a virus from someone anywhere in the world into your IT environment using this form. So we need to ensure either of those options are set. So once that's done, we're going to head into our form, scroll down, we're going to add a new button. We're then going to select the upload file option, which is now available to us, and we can now define our question. We can also add a helpful subtitle by clicking the free dot menu and selecting subtitle and then adding some further text. Once we've done that, we can now begin to collect responses. So ensuring that that option is set to only people in my org can respond, we can now copy that link and share it. Now in this example, I'm going to go in and start filling in our Microsoft form. So as I start filling it in and get to the bottom, we can now upload a file. I'm going to upload a PDR file that I might want to have on this Microsoft form, which is a Word document, and that's now been uploaded. I can hit on the submit button and it will be pushed through. I can see that Word document. To access the attachments, I can go into the responses and I can scroll right down and there's our response including that Word document. If I now click on more details on this question, I can actually access the Word document straight from within Microsoft Forms. But if I do select View in Folder, I'll actually get a view about where this document is stored. It's actually stored in your OneDrive for Business account. So behind the scenes, when you create these forms using attachments, those attachments will be stored in your OneDrive for Business account under a dedicated folder under Apps. So if you need to get back to that attachment, you can easily do so by browsing to that folder. Equally, you can click on that link in Forms and have access to that file. So that's a simple way there of being able to attach a file using a form and get back to it really quickly. So now the second part of this video, answering the question of how do I remove the responder's name from the attachment file because you may not want that on there. Well, in this part of the video, let's go and make a small change to our Microsoft form so we don't include that responder's name on the attachment file. To make that change, just go back into Microsoft Form and ensure the record name option is no longer selected. That means when someone then attaches a file to your form, you'll now see the file itself is marked as anonymous versus the version we see above with the person's name included in that attachment name. So to simply remove that person's name on any future attachments, just ensure you're not recording the person's name when they fill in that Microsoft Form. And that's it, we've covered Microsoft Forms attachments and you now are all set and ready to go and add that field type into your questionnaire and begin collecting those files back from your responders. Now, if you love this video, we would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button to find even more great Microsoft 365 tips we're putting out there and also the like button. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.